Hello, my very most beautiful Pisces. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, my lovelies, we are going to be doing a Who's Coming Towards You reading. It is a general reading, and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So, if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Pisces, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Pisces energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Let's take a look at who is coming towards Pisces, please. Someone has taken their sweet time to come, but I do feel like somebody is planning on moving towards you. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So somebody wants to reconnect and they see it's like only you. You're the only one that they want. But I do feel like maybe it's taken them some time to figure that out. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, okay? So I feel like they, they are moving towards you very slowly, okay? And, and it could have just taken them some time to figure out, you know, what they really wanted here. What's going on? What are this person's thoughts when it comes to Pisces? What are their thoughts when it comes to Pisces? We've got the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So they're still holding on to you. Um, the Knight of Swords, you know, that is like very quick communication. I feel like they want to communicate. They have a lot that they want to say with that energy. There are a lot that they're holding back on saying with this energy. There's something here where they're not really sure how welcome they're going to be, okay? With this Four of Pentacles being here, there's like, you can see, it almost looks like he's holding this pentacle over top of his heart like a shield. And so maybe this is somebody that you have been through a lot with, somebody who's kind of put you a, put you through a lot is kind of what that feels like to me. And so even though they're in alignment now, their head and their heart are on the same page, you can even see that in the card. We have this pentacle right over here, here, and they're in perfect alignment. So now that they finally have figured things out, their head and their heart on the same page, they're not sure if you're going to open up to them. They're not sure how welcome they're going to be here. They, had, they do have a lot that they want to say, Pisces. Show me this person's feelings when it comes to Pisces. What are their feelings? Got the Judgment card and the Ace of Wands. So they know what they want. They know what they want, Pisces. They're like extremely sure okay this is like something where they may have had doubts before maybe they didn't know what they wanted and I feel like like I said I feel like it took this person a long time to figure out what they what they truly what they truly wanted okay and it's like now that they have their in perfect alignment their head and their heart are on the same page you know they know that they want this new beginning with you they feel very strongly about it as well and they're feeling called to do something about it I do feel like some resistance though, and I feel like that's going back to um, this Four of Pentacles energy. What is what are their true intentions when it comes to Pisces? What are their true intentions when it comes to Pisces, please? What are their true intentions? Got the Six of Cups. And got the Devil in the Reverse. So... I do feel like in the past when you guys were um, involved, they could have had some like toxic traits, okay? Some toxic behaviors, maybe even a lot of fears surrounding this connection, okay? Some of them could have had, um, I'm getting some of them, one could have had some like actual toxic traits, like maybe they drank or things like that, like physically toxic. Others of them, you know, they could have had commitment issues or a lot of fear surrounding commitment. They're just whatever it is, I feel like it's a little different for everybody. It is a general reading. Um, but it's like they're ready to release the, the toxicity from the past or the fears from the past, whatever that was that was causing them to be so unsure, causing them that didn't to need to take this much time to figure things out. Um, whatever was getting in the way of that, the blockages there. Um, it's like their true intention is to is to be able to release that, to be able to put that behind you both. What actions will this person be taking towards Pisces? So that's their true intention. What are what actions will they be taking? Got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. 
and the king of cups in the reverse so this is what's keeping them from taking any action so this is why this is another re i do feel like they had their own fears and stuff to work through their own stuff that needed to be released and figured out um but the other thing that is keeping them held back um when what's you know contributing to this taking such a long time for this person to um figure things out and for this person to like actually act on it is it's like once they have figured it out it's like that actually getting them to act on it and even though they are feeling this call to action with that judgment card and even though they want to communicate so badly with the knight of swords it's like they feel like you would be closed off to them. Okay, Knight of Cup or King of Cups in the reverse, they could feel like that's like emotionally unavailable or emotionally guarded, emotionally closed off. Um, because I feel like this person has I feel like this person has put you through some things. And even the three of pentacles in the reverse, they feel like you wouldn't want to build with them or you wouldn't be on the you wouldn't be able to get on the same page for them. Like too much has been push like too much has been put on display for you that they feel like it's something that can't be worked on or that you'll feel that way. So when it comes to taking action, still I don't see any action. So it's like as much as they want this and as much as, as aligned as they are, um, when it comes time to take in the action, that's one of the holdups. Let's get your energy out here and see what's going on with this. And they got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom, so they do want this. Show me Pisces energy towards this person. What is Pisces energy towards this person, please? Show me Pisces energy towards this person. What is Pisces energy towards this person, please? What is Pisces energy towards this person? Got the Hierophant in the reverse. You could see this person as somebody who's non-committal, has too much like toxicity. You can you that could be one of the reasons why you um, you know either weren't interested in committing to this any longer or you're not interested in committing to this any longer because there's just too much there's just too much toxicity too much negativity too much fear and um, you know it can also resonate if that's not the case you know it can also resonate as you see this person that way this person is somebody who is too toxic or um who's too non-committal So show me what's going on in Pisces' thoughts when it comes to this person. How does Pisces think about this person? The Knight of Pentacles. You can also feel like they're taking too long. Um, or you could feel like they're not somebody who's very stable. Let me see. The King of Cups. So it's almost like you feel like, like you know, things would be different if this person could just be stable. Or I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. Um, I do. I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. But there's just something about... You know, their past behaviors and stuff, their toxicity, their lack of commitment, all of that that has been difficult, difficult to work through, difficult to heal from, difficult to get past. How does Pisces feel about this person? I feel like you do love them, Pisces. I do feel like you do have love for them. Get the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, but you kind of feel like nothing's going to change here. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. You could feel like too much has happened or maybe um, like the, you're not interested in having another opportunity because you don't feel like you don't feel like anything's really going to change with them. What are Pisces true intentions when it comes to this connection? The high priestess, you don't know, you're unknown. Um, it's un it's unclear to you because there's so much unknowns. You know that's what that feels like. There's too many uncertainties. You you don't know this person. Um, you know you can't see anything improving with this person, and I feel like you really don't want to put yourself in the situation that you have again. But at the same time, you really do love this person. You get the Knight of Swords. So I definitely feel like there's going to be. You maybe you even don't even understand why. I feel like if this person reached out to you, Pisces, with this energy, I feel like. If this person reached out to you, I do feel like you would have a conversation with them. Maybe not all of you, but I, I mean, I do feel like for some of you guys, I see that. Um, but I do feel like it would be very guarded and very, like, yeah, very guarded. Because I feel like you're not really sure where it's coming from or why. Like, you're not trusting the, intu intu the intention. Some of you guys are intuitively with this energy as well. Um, Pisces, you guys are extremely intuitive. And this is your energy, Pisces. So some of you guys can probably feel this you can feel this person's energy still you can feel this person still thinking about you some of you guys can even feel that they're moving back towards you what actions will pisces be taking got the two of cups so you like i said i do feel like you'll have a conversation with this person at the very least in the tower 
so whatever whatever is said during this conversation i do feel like it definitely shakes things up it definitely changes things this conversation does you know the staff of hermes is here on the two of cups which is like a very it's like the god of communication so sometimes to me the two of cups can talk about like a very positive back and forth mutual conversation um, i do feel like intuitively you can feel this person um getting ready to reach out or maybe some of you guys will reach out because you can you're feeling all these intuitive nudges um but i definitely feel like whatever whatever happens and whatever gets put out and said you know in this conversation i do feel like it does shake things up i do feel like it kind of changes everything i do feel like you guys do have a lot of love for each other you got the king and the queen of cups out here now you know some of you guys could be dealing with a scorpio i you have quite a few cards for that here we have one two three four five Scorpio cards plus an ace of cups plus the fixed signs with the wheel of fortune so quite a few Scorpio energies here I mean it doesn't have to be a Scorpio but I'm just really drawn to how much how many Scorpio cards you have here um but you know some of you guys really could feel like this is your divine counterpart you do have a lot of love for this person and there's a part of you that really does want to believe them um you're just not sure if you can you know you're not really sure if things you know if things really can improve if this person really is you know has really shifted in a way so we're going to pull um some potential outcome cards and go from there what is the potential outcome here what is the potential outcome here show me the potential outcome here for pisces the seven of cups so a lot of confusion i feel like the choice is up to you pisces with the energy the eight of pentacles somebody's willing to work on it the ten of cups so you know what i do feel like there's still some illusions here, okay, as in, not illusions, that's not the word I want to use. There's still some confusion here because you're not sure what's true and what's illusion, okay? You're not sure if you can trust this person. But some of you guys are going to choose to be it slowly because pentacles are slow-moving energies, eight of pentacles. Some of you guys are going to choose to um, take the time to find out, and it could potentially lead to the ten of cups here. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, if it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements, everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals. All of that is going to be in the description box below for you guys. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.